Hi, I'm Lindsay Hochul from Speechy Things, and today I want to share with you one of my favorite R tricks. So whenever we're trying to elicit an R sound, it's really important that our students can get some tension in the back of their tongue for bunched R, especially. And we want them to be able to lift the sides of the tongue in the back. Now, this can be really tricky. They can't see it. It's hard to feel. It's hard for us to demonstrate, but we can bring in a tool. I like to use a Twizzler. Break it in half, have them place it in, an, in the back of their tongue, on the back of their tongue. Oh, it's too long. And you want them to make kind of like a rainbow arch. Excuse me. Your students should be able to feel what, it, <laughs> what it's like to push the Twizzler up against the roof of their mouth in the back, helping them get that tension that can be so hard to teach and talk about. Now, if you don't have access to Twizzlers or your student doesn't like Twizzlers, no problem. Here are some other ideas. Sour punch straws, red vines, so any kind of licorice. Really, you get the idea. There's tons of food items that are shaped that way and are bendable. Even a Slim Jim could be an option, a little beef jerky stick. Um, and if you can't use food items or you don't have parent permission or whatever the case, you can also get little silicone straws and cut them down to size. This is great, it's reusable, and you can have one for each student. I hope this gives you something new to try that you haven't seen before. I've had some good success with it. I've got tons of messages from people saying that it's worked for them. So I hope it brings you luck too. If you want some more ideas, feel free to check me out on Instagram. Come visit my website where I blog about the R sound all the time or sign up to get my emails and my R freebies. I hope you have a great day. Thanks for watching. See you next time.